Many of our most serious conflicts are conflicts within ourselves. Those who suppose their judgments are always consistent are unreflective or dogmatic. John Rawls John Rawls was born February 21, 1921 in Baltimore, Maryland. He was a leading figure in moral and political philosophy and held professorships at many prestigious schools such as Harvard, Cornell, and MIT. He was born to William Lee Rawls, a very prominent attorney in Baltimore at the time, and had four brothers. He was the second of the five sons and tragically inadvertently caused the death of two of his brothers. Bobby, younger by 20 months, was infected while visiting John while he was ill, and next winter, another younger brother, Tommy, was infected by John and his pneumonia. Many people consider his brother's death to be crucial to John's childhood. Rawls attended Princeton University and graduated with the highest honors. While he was at Princeton, he became very interested in theology and what it was constructed of. Right after he completed his Bachelor of Arts degree in 1943, he enlisted into the army during World War II. He served as an infantryman and was presented in New Guinea, the Philippines, and Japan. While in Japan, he witnessed what the bombing of Hiroshima did to the people. Due to this, Rawls turned down an opportunity to become an officer in the military and left as a private. Once he left, he returned to Princeton and continued his education in the form of a doctorate in moral philosophy. He earned a PhD in Princeton in 1950 and became a professor there until 1952. He became an associate professor after a short time at Oxford and then headed off to Cornell where he became a full professor in philosophy. Majority of his time teaching was spent at Harvard where he taught for nearly 40 years. Though prominent in his time, Rawls very rarely gave interviews due to his stutter and incredible stage fright. Kept from the media, Rawls did not become a public intellectual but was still in possession of quite a reputation in the field of philosophy. Despite his fame, he mainly kept it to his studies and his family. Even though he had a time where he considered entering the position of priesthood, he was an atheist in the end. Rawls suffered from many strokes, beginning in the years 1995, causing him to become incapable of work. Despite his troubles, he completed his book, The Laws of the People. In the end, he also wrote a book that was a reply to the theory of justice and the criticism that it received. At the age of 81, John Rawls died at Lexington, Massachusetts on November 24, 2002. Rawls' first published work was The Theory of Justice in 1971. This is a theory that caused his prominence in the field of philosophy. The main topic found in his work was the idea of the original position and the veil of ignorance. The original position was the hypothetical scenario with the group of people who are in need of a decision on a political or economic structure of their society. In this process, John Rawls brings up the idea of the veil of ignorance. Each person is stripped of their knowledge of their race, gender, age, wealth, status, education, religion, intelligence, and anything that would cause them to be biased towards a certain outcome. By doing this, Rawls creates a group of people who are not driven by their wants, but rather by their rational thought. He believed that in order to make a well thought out decision, a person must be in possession of two traits. The understanding that they themselves have the ability and capacity to develop their own sense of justice and abide by it, and that they must be aware that they have the capacity to create their own idea of what is good. By using this process, Rawls hoped that people would discard the idea that either freedom or equality had to hold a higher power, but instead that those should be discarded as illusionary ideas and only fairness should be the judge of justice. John Rawls' idea of the veil of ignorance holds the same concept that our justice system is said to hold today. Blind justice is a legal form of the veil of ignorance. Both ideas contain the theory that if people put aside the factors that usually cause many people to assume or lead toward one decision more, fairness would become what rules and choices rather than decisions driven by people's predetermined assumptions. Rawls' theory would be applicable in real life whether you wish to make a tough decision that you are not sure of that you can fairly decide upon due to the preconceived notions that you have. While being a mediator between two friends, the veil of ignorance would be pra a practical and fair way to handle the situation. Because they are both your friends, it would be difficult to come to a decision without being blinded by certain traits and how you feel about the two of them. If you were closer to one of them, would you truly be able to objectively look at the situation with no form of bias whatsoever? As humans, we hold judgment based on our ideas on social status and socio-economic positions as well as gender, race, and educational level. Because we put values in these, we begin to view people differently due to how they differ in all these factors. If we would simply look at a situation as an outsider, a third-person observer with no preconceived notions at all, 
we would be able to simply look at the cold hard facts and what occurred. The only thing that would stand out would be the actual crime and we would be able to determine whether or not it was immoral.